Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful people, this is Call of Duty Fanatics and welcome back. Today we are going to deep dive into a topic that's been on the minds of many of us Call of Duty fans, of course. And the question is, what happened to the highly, once highly anticipated DMZ mode? Originally hyped as a game changer for the franchise, the DMZ mode was supposed to offer a fresh tactical experience within the Call of Duty universe. However, to the surprise of many, the mode was quietly scrapped. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind the decision to cancel DMZ, what it could have been, and what this means for the future of Call of Duty. So, it's an absolute imperative that you stay with me until end of this video if you want to have a better understanding what actually happened to one of the fan favorite modes in Call of Duty. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere... ...in the shadows... ...they send us in to find it. Watch your six actual. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6. Going dark. Now guys, before we proceed any further, I really need to uh, make a special thanks to all of you uh, that are still following the channel. I haven't put any content on the channel for about a year, maybe even more. I have to check the dates when was my last upload. And then I started to upload content for the last seven days, eight days maybe. And so far we gathered over 11 thousand views so thank you all for following the channel and helping me in the attempt to restore the former glory of this small community that we built together to understand why dmz mode was scrapped we first need to look at what it was supposed to be dmz uh, short for demilitarized zone and i bet many of you haven't know that was envisioned as an extraction based mode heavily inspired by games like Escape from Tarkov. It promised a mix of high-stakes gameplay where players would enter a dangerous zone, gather loot, complete objectives and attempt to extract without being killed by other players or AI enemies, or NPCs as you like. This mode was meant to introduce a new level of strategy and intensity to Call of Duty franchise offering something different from traditional multiplayer or battle royale experience. When news of DMZ first surfaced, the Call of Duty community was buzzing with excitement. The idea of a more hardcore tactical mode seemed like a breath of fresh air for the franchise that, while successful, had been sticking to familiar formulas for years. Fans envisioned a mode that combined the best aspects of Warzone with a thrill of high-risk, high-reward gameplay similar to Tarkov. And I won't even mention about stories, easter eggs, etc. The anticipation was building with many believing that DMZ could become a staple in the Call of Duty lineup, attracting a new audience while satisfying long-time fans. However, the devil is in the details. Behind the scenes, the development of DMZ was not going smoothly, and that was confirmed by numerous sources within the Activision. Creating a mode as ambitious as DMZ posed significant challenges, balancing the gameplay, ensuring the AI behaved in a believable yet challenging way, and integrating this new mode seamlessly with the existing Call of Duty ecosystem proved to be more difficult than initially expected. These challenges were compounded by the tight development cycles that Call of Duty games are known for, leaving the developers with limited time to perfect such an ambitious project. And yes, guys, we witnessed that in the DMZ, the wipeouts, the changes. I think we had two or three wipeouts and they were introducing something completely new, which at the end wasn't new at all or was very, very small content update story was all over the place you couldn't like with every new season every new update the story was changing and it was absolute wreck 
from season 3 onwards, DMZ became a complete wreck. Another factor that likely contributed to the scrapping of DMZ was the competition within the market. At the time, other games like Escape from Tarkov and Hunt uh, Showdown were already dominating the extraction-based genre, and their player bases were fiercely loyal. For DMZ uh, to succeed, it would have had to not only match, but exceed the quality and depth of the mentioned games. Given the challenges in development and the high standards set by competitors, the pressure to deliver a polished and compelling mode became overwhelming. Internally, Activision and the development teams may have also shifted priorities. With the ongoing success of Warzone and the continued demand for traditional multiplayer and campaign modes, resources likely needed to be relocated. The Call of Duty franchise is a massive operation, we all know that, and ensuring the quality of its core offerings often takes advantage over experimental modes. And we have to be fair and honest here, DMZ was a complete experimental mode for something bigger, at, we, at least we thought for something bigger that's coming in Call of Duty franchise. As a result, DMZ may have been seen as a risky venture that could divert attention and resources away from the franchise's bread and butter. And we know that's a multiplayer, that's zombies, and that's Battle Royale. And that's a fact, guys. This is all about money, this is all about greed, and it's a business decision. Uh, if Activision continued to support DMZ and associated modes, etc., they would just dilute the fan base and uh, the profits wouldn't be as high as they were expecting. Plus, they would uh, scatter their resources and quality would go down. The quality is already low, we know that with the recent updates um, and a new Black Ops 6 game that's due to be released. We can see the quality flows, but can you imagine if they had DMZ on their backs as well, there would be massive problems. On the other hand, a multi-billion dollar company, AAA company like uh, Activision is, should not have problems in hiring more developers and more people to produce these things. Why they are not doing it, that's probably something we will never find out. When it became apparent that DMZ was not going to see the light of a day, the reaction from the community was mixed. Some fans were disappointed, having looked forward to a new experience that could shake up the Call of Duty formula. Others, however, understood the challenges and appreciated that the developers chose to focus on refining the existing modes rather than releasing something half-baked. Now, this could be true, could be not, but lately everything that we see in Call of Duty franchise, especially Warzone, is half-baked. Even their new games are half-baked, unfinished, unpolished. Just remember Vanguard, then Modern Warfare 2, then Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 campaign was absolutely horrendous. Like, I don't, like... Do you remember the Modern Warfare 3 campaign? I don't. I remember every single campaign that I played um, 20 years ago. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, everything. But I can't remember the Modern Warfare 3 campaign. I remember a few missions and that's about it. So the cancellation also sparked discussions about what Call of Duty needs to do to innovate while maintaining the quality and consistency that fans expect. It's hard not to wonder what could have been if DMZ had made it to a full release. Uh, the mode had the potential to bring a new dimension to Call of Duty, offering players a unique and intense experience that contrasted sharply with the fast-paced cha chaotic nature of Warzone. The combination of strategy, survival and tactical gameplay could have attracted a different kind of player to the franchise, potentially expanding Call of Duty reach even further. However, the risks involved in launching a mode that wasn't fully realized likely outweighed these potential benefits. And again, guys, I'm repeating myself, it's all about money, about the business, and when it comes to Activision, it's greed. And you can see what they're doing with pumping up these bundles and this ridiculous AI-generated uh, 
skins, weapons, etc. It, it's just, it's horrible. For somebody who plays Call of Duty for the last 20 years, I'm in horrors what's currently happening with the whole franchise. But I guess that's the generation that's now uh, leading the show in the Activision and unfortunately the OGs can't do anything about it and it's gonna stay like this until times change and trends changes. In the end the decision to scrap DMZ was probably a difficult one but it reflects the realities of game development in a highly competitive industry and yes uh, gaming industry is one of the biggest industries, uh, technological industries today in the world. While it's disappointing to see such a promising concept shelved, it's important to remember that not every idea can come to a, a, a resolvement, especially when the stakes are as high as they are with Call of Duty. The franchise continues to evolve and while DMZ may never see the light of day, it's possible that elements of the mode could inspire future innovation within the series. It already did. We had Modern Warfare Zombies, which the whole concept was similar to the DMZ, except that it was only P versus E, so players versus environment. There was no PvPVE uh, formula in uh, Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. However, that mode also got scrapped right after the season one, which is sad. Um, I have to also tell you a few exclusives, and please don't tell anybody. Um, recently there is news that uh, DMZ mode is gonna be replenished or refurbished in 2026. Guess what? It's not going to happen. Just don't tell anybody, you know? And I can't tell you who told me this, uh, because I would compromise my source, but it's only a matter of time when the DMZ servers are gonna be shut down completely. And that's probably gonna happen uh, sooner rather than later. Just remember what they did to Warzone 1 servers. They scrapped the whole thing in a matter of month when they kind of feared are people going to come and play Warzone 2. When they seen the numbers of Warzone 2 that the numbers were not great, they scrapped the whole Warzone 1 server within like a week time or even less so again again and again it's all about money about the greed and about how much pay uh, how much money sorry you pay in the game for bundles for all of these small things microtransactions and small things they are selling to us now guys this is gonna be the end of this video thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive into what happened with dmz what are your thoughts? Were you excited about DMZ or do you think the right decision was made? Are you still playing the mode? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more Call of Duty content. And until next time, my fellow Verdansk citizens, I wish you all the best and stay frosty.